Is it filming? Hello, my name is Lindsay, and this week my gentleman Matthew and I are going to display what we eat in a week in Ukraine. And it's late July 2019, so we're going to show what's in season and how we normally eat over this week. First off, we're going to show you all the ingredients that we have in the house as of today. And that will give you a good idea of what we generally eat in case we don't show you every meal. Okay, давай. Let's go. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, time to show what is in our kitchen. First off, we have a kitchen. Here we have reusable bags. We try never ever to get plastic bags and it's actually pretty easy for us because we have so many reusable ones. This isn't even our entire collection. We have some in the other room too. Uh, here I just washed the tablecloth. I washed it in the tub. So I'm going to show you all the produce that we have right now. Um, we just got a, most of this today. Um, this, all this produce probably cost about three to four dollars total, which is pretty good. Like, for example, the tomatoes, which are locally grown. I just bought it from a woman out on the sidewalk. This whole thing of tomatoes cost a dollar. Lemons are pretty cheap right now. These were really cheap. These were um, just over a dollar a kilo, and I bought six. Peppers and um, kabachok squash. And the eggplant, I got the slightly older ones, so they were super cheap. They were like 20 cents or 25 cents a kilo. Um, we have beets here, peppers, cabbage was cheap. These are carrots. You can see there's still dirt on them. That means they're pretty fresh, I guess. Uh, this I got some kind of melon. I got this from an old man on the street who was really excited to meet an American and gave me a big hug. And some cucumbers. We have uh, ginger, garlic, um, parsley. And our basil, which uh, is not doing very well, but we keep it, we don't eat it, it's just now our friend. And uh, this is um, some local honey, from local honey dealers. And of course, eggs. We use this U.S. post office box to go get eggs, and we just fill them up, and then we buy them that way. There's my tea in the windowsill. Uh, our cooking stuff, we have cast iron, we have our little elephant friend who holds our, uh, oh, he's a little dirty, I need to clean him, holds our whisk and other things, cutting board that needs to be cleaned, those are coffee grounds, don't worry about it, and um, some other stuff. So here's a view of the kitchen. Down here we have coconut oil, which we brought specifically from the U.S. because I like coconut oil. And we just recently went back to the U.S. for a visit, and we had a lot of space in our luggage, so we brought back coconut oil. This is local buckwheat. It's really good. I love buckwheat. It's pretty hard to find in the U.S., but it's delicious. Uh, brown rice. Sometimes we eat that. I don't know, maybe once a week we eat brown rice. Um, we have, from Kiev, we found organic quinoa. And each bag is... Um, it's about $4 a bag, so it's expensive. So we really only eat it once every few weeks as a treat and to get some variety. But the bags are really great, really good quality bags. So we save the bags and we reuse them for when we buy other stuff. I'll show you later. Here is a bag of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We get this, uh, we just bring our own bags and we refill it at the big station in the bazaar. They have like a seller who sells um, beans and legumes. Um, the same seller, we bought mung beans and red beans. From the market, we got um, yellow split peas. I don't know where this one came from. And then popcorn, we bring our own bag. This is our fabled camp lead bag from Zalish Chiki. That was a great camp, and we bring it to the big market in Kiev, and we just fill it up in the bulk section. We try not to use plastic ever. Um, here we have our sea salt. I don't know what this is. This is that pink, pink Himalayan salt. We could just keep it there. Um, what's it? Vinegar, regular vinegar, white vinegar. This is the coconut oil we're using now, and then um, ap apple cider vinegar. Um, this is our 
Castile soap we use, our um, coconut husk sponge, which I just bought at a co-op in Dublin when I was visiting my friends Esalt and James, which is a great vacation, and then we use the Castile soap on it. Or this is from Lush. There are Lush stores in Ukraine, and we buy the soap on sale. I can just rub it on there and use that too. I don't know if that's toxic, but so far it seems to be fine. Here is our pantry. Here we have um, local honey from Matthew's counterpart's father-in-law's apiary. Um, the camera's not focusing. Ah, okay. So local honey. This whole jar cost maybe $12. It's huge. You can see it's a big jar. Um, this is yeast. So we could potentially make it starter to make... Um, tempeh for soybeans. It was given to us by Irina, one of our friends from Camp Lead. Uh, here we have the organic bag, reused. I get almonds at the market and I get cashews and also sesame seeds, whatever we can find there, pumpkin seeds, peanuts. Here is organic maca or masa powder from the Dublin Food Co-op, which we which I got. I've never had it before, but it was on sale. It was a couple dollars and I wanted to try it, so we'll try it. Here is a uh, flaxseed in a reusable bag. This is really cheap. I get flaxseed. Ah, cricket powder, one of my favorite things. I don't eat it super often, um, but I think it's really great and it is sustainable animal protein. So if you're going to eat animal protein, I super recommend cricket powder. They're finding out more and more that it's full of antioxidants. It's really great for you. If you can get over the idea of eating bugs, um, it's really great. I add it to drinks. I just mix it with water or mix it with other powders or you can add it to pancakes, whatever. This is um, chia seeds. It's just a bag of chia seeds. That's all it is. And there we have some honey that I got on sale that I haven't eaten. And I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe we'll use it when the big honey runs out. Also, we have... Oh, this is almost out. This is another kind of honey, but it's also local. And some organic coffee that Matthew eats that his parents sent him from the U.S. I also have organic, or I don't know if it's organic, local bee pollen from uh, the local apiaries. There are a lot of apiaries in this area. And, of course, a jar of organic wheat grass. And um, once you use that powder, you come... Oh, here's the salt, by the way. We use this salt to clean the cast iron. And then here, more organic wheatgrass, but let me open it and show you what's actually in it because I like to reuse things. It's baking soda. So I use baking soda to clean my hair. I use baking soda in baking, obviously, in cooking, and to brush my teeth. Um, so I don't really use shampoo or toothpaste hardly ever anymore. I'm always using baking soda. And in here we also have some uh, cocoa that we inherited from another Peace Corps volunteer, our friend Philip, when he left. And apparently, I don't know what this is. He gave us this too. Some okay, cafe espresso. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. Matthew drinks coffee. Here's some tea that uh, we put in a small thing to save it. Okay. Uh, Water filter. The water here is okay to drink, but we like to filter it just in case because when we boil it, there's always a white film around our tea kettle, and when we filter it first, there's not as much film. Um, it's mineral deposits. So, Little Red Cup Tea is my favorite tea company, organic and fair trade tea from China. It's a family-run business run from the U.S., and I know the owners of it, and they are wonderful people. So, Lapsang Suchong, Yunnan Black, White Peony, Green Mao Jian, Da Hong Pao Premium Wulong, and uh, Matthew's um, Coffee... I don't even know what it's called. A coffee press? And then we have some other teas that we've just kind of gathered that friends have given us. Winter Dream Tea is not in here. It's a different kind of tea. Oh, this is part of our uh, immersion blender, which I'd never used before I came to Ukraine. This is the toothbrush we use to clean the spice grinder. Oh, and Matthew's favorite part of the house, the spice cabinet. Look, we have all kinds of stuff. That's turmeric right there. There's our immersion blender. There's the red pepper. Here's all these spices, some from the U.S., and all of this from our local bazaar here in Ukraine. We love herbs and spices. It's our favorite thing. Uh, our fridge, where we have, you know, our Chernobyl magnet and a magnet that they made of us for, our friends made of us for Matthew's birthday. 
Christmas cards, Christmas cards, yeah, uh, doing the splits, during training. Yep, so we have that, and inside our kitchen, sorry, inside our fridge is um, Bacardi that we, I think we got this like a year ago, and uh, no one ever drinks it. Uh, pumpkin oil, pumpkin seed oil, we just get this at our local store. Um, watermelon that we've almost finished, and Amazing Grass Green Superfood. I just tried this, a like I bought this a month ago in the U.S. when we were visiting. It's pretty good. It tastes really good. Organic wheatgrass doesn't taste as good, but it's still good for you. This in here is powder. Oh, God. I can't do this one-handed. Oh, please, God, help me. Okay, so this is a powder. There's to, the, to keep it fresh, that thing. So this is a, a powder, and what it is is... Over here, I saved this just to show you. It's organic acai powder. It tastes really good. It's the beauty beauty berry from this is stupid. The beauty berry from uh, Brazil. Um, I don't know if it's ethically sustainable of me to be getting that because it has to travel from such a long distance to get to the U.S. and then I buy it and bring it here. But I tried it. It's the first time I've ever bought it. It tastes really good. Here is. Um, Arahistova pasta, which is peanut butter. Um, whoops. Neutralna, which means natural, and it's delicious. We actually, with our immersion blender, it came with a food processor, so we just make our own peanut butter. We buy local peanuts and we grind our own. We roast them in our oven, and then we grind our own and they are delicious and um but we we once we used to order it from this company that operates i believe out of kiev and it's a very good company tom for peanut butter and um now when we run out of peanut butter we just make it our own and we put it in the same thing and in here we just have some leftover um mung beans that we cooked a day or two ago uh these are coffee grounds oh this is where matthew stores his coffee grounds um, went after he grinds the beans himself and here's my glucosamine chondroitin MSM that Peace Corps gave me because I have some minor I have some knee pain and shoulder pain from maybe uh, inflammation or from um, arthritis mom said I have some on arthritis runs in our family and no uh, Ukrainian kitchen would be complete without some preserves we have jam and we have preserved mushrooms that our um, Matthew's host mother gave us a couple months ago and that we will hopefully eat soon so this is our wonderful kitchen and now you know basically what we eat and how we eat Okay, it's Sunday, now we're cooking lunch uh, for Matthew. I think this is your breakfast, right, Matthew? It's lunch. Yeah, and then, so scrambled eggs, cumin, and mala, which is, what, what do you call mala? Sichuan peppercorn. Sichuan peppercorn and onion. And then I'm making uh, my own little soup with some quinoa, cumin, peppercorn, and uh, onion, garlic, and... Um, Oh, God, what's it called? Onion, garlic, and ginger. There it is. All right, so that's what we're having for lunch, and uh, I just had a couple eggs as well, and I ate a peach. Lunch. We're making lunch. Kabachok. Uh, what is this called? Squash. Zucchini. Zucchini. Egg, frying it up. It's summer, and then we eat it with the buckwheat, which is right here. We make little pancakes, and we watch uh, John Oliver. And now Matthew is making ginger cookies for our friend Luda, who is going to training tonight, taking an overnight train, and this is whole wheat flour. <laughs> and this is, um, it says super, but this is um, beet, beet sugar from beets. That does not make it healthier. We have finished baking our cookies. These we're keeping for ourselves and maybe some of our students who come to club. And this we're giving to my counterpart, Yuda. They are ginger cookies. So they have ginger in them and whole wheat flour, which means they are very healthy. Right, honey? No. 
All right, what's happening here? Making gazpacho. Yeah? What's in it? Tomato, cucumber, bell pepper, onion, garlic, cayenne, ancho, chili. And an immersion, cumin. immersion blender. Yeah? Lemon, yeah. And this is our organic waste bucket and we fill it up and then we take it out to the fields way 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 out yonder and dump it into the fields so we can be more green as they say here's your gazpacho aka another word for salsa it is wednesday we're eating leftovers this is what matthew has made and he's going to add some red pepper flakes to it and this is how we eat our leftovers. What is it? It's eggplant, uh, beans, and hrechka, which is buckwheat, and egg, and some spices, right? Mm -hmm. Delicious breakfast. It's lunchtime, and we're finally uh, home to eat. Um, it's like 1.30. We're eating the melon, finally, and uh, cucumbers. And Matthew is... Cleaning. You can tell we don't wear a lot of clothing in the summer because it's um, it's pretty hot out. This is what it looks like this time of year. It's uh, late July. It's right in the middle of the day, so this is not a very good view. There. Is that better at all? I don't know. And um, we have our tea. And yeah, we don't wear much clothing in the summer because... It's very hot out, but he is wearing shorts. And we don't use AC. And, oh, yeah, and we don't use AC. Um, we have an AC, apparently. This is our AC, we've been told, but we have never once turned it on. So, yeah, we just did laundry, and so the house is messy because we just did laundry. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's... Anyway, it's hot in the summer. And Matthew, what are you cooking? Okay. For dinner tonight, Matthew made a quinoa and cabbage and garbanzo bean salad with a dressing that he made himself. What's in the dressing, honey? Vinegar, oil, salt, pepper, ancho, chili, garlic. That sounds pretty good and healthy. Thanks for cooking, honey. You're welcome. 1 p.m. and it's breakfast time and so I ate uh, I made poached eggs and then I put on um, buckwheat I made some buckwheat yesterday and I put on the quinoa and um, cabbage and garbanzo bean salad on top of it so this is my breakfast this afternoon now that I have finished lunch, I'm going to make, or maybe it's my breakfast, but during lunchtime, I'm going to make a drink. Uh, I put in some black pepper and some turmeric, and I'm going to put in some of this acai berry, a little bit of wheatgrass, because I'm trying to finish it, because it's like a year old now, and this um, green, amazing grass, green superfood, this actually is, I think, going to taste quite good because of the acai and the green superfood. And then just combine it with some water. And that'll be my drink. I forgot to record what we did yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. Matthew baked cookies for, their ginger cookies, for a, a friend's uh, birthday party today for her cat. We're going to Kasha the cat's birthday today. This is roasted eggplant. We made them because we bought eggplant and it was gonna go bad soon. We made that. We bought a bunch of peaches uh, from the street vendor. They are absolutely delicious. We bought uh, tomatoes. We made some eggs yesterday and um, we still have beets and carrots left. And we made uh, garbanzo beans. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my um, buckwheat. Uh, my buckwheat, yeah. So this is that's what we've been eating. Lots of lots of cookies and then some other healthy food, yeah. 
Oh, and I bought sausage for my best dog friend who lives outside. Hello, it's... Wait, one, two, three, four, it's the fifth. Hello, today is Monday, August 5th, and you have just seen an approximate week of what we eat in the summer. It is a nice, cool August morning. That's why I'm co cozily wearing my coat. Normally, I don't. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, we did not eat well. Okay, we ate a lot of cookies, and then Saturday night we went out to pizza because we went to Balta to visit our Peace Corps volunteer friend Allison because she had a birthday party for her cat Kasha, who is now one. And so we had a party, and uh, needless to say, we did not eat well at the party. And also, I drank a lot of chai tea that she made with milk and lots of sugar, and it was delicious. Now that we're back at, at site, I just got back from the market. Um, let me show you some stuff we got. Come here. Um, we got cucumbers, uh, squash, zucchini, um, eggplants, and then a bunch of peppers and onions. We had some beets from before, and we had some, um, what do you call these? Peaches. Peaches. We got peaches from before. I got some eggs. And, oh, we got to eat this. Uh, this is going bad. We uh, bought, oh, look, a little worm. How cute. That's how you know it's organic, right? Hey. Um, it is right there. Hey, but let's focus on it. See? It's a little worm. We will take the worm out and put him outside. Uh, or maybe a caterpillar. I don't know. So we have to eat this. And then we got um, these delicious berries, local and grapes from farmers who live nearby. They just sit outside on the street and sell them. These berries, I want you to see how many berries this is. This cost two US dollars, okay? It cost two US dollars, they're fresh, they're delicious. Grapes also cost, uh, I think $1.50 for all these. And all that produce in the fridge cost about $4. So we love Ukraine and we love the summers in Ukraine because so much access to fresh fruit and vegetables and it's cheap and it's healthy and most of it is homegrown. So yeah, end, end of story. These are some leftovers that Matthew made. Um, it's cabbage. Uh, cabbage, garbanzo bean, tomato. It's really good. It tastes really good. And um, we're about to eat this for breakfast. He made this last night and we finished the brown rice from last night. So a, a dinner last night was this plus brown rice. And also we're soaking red beans, if you can see them. And we'll cook these later today. And I made uh, da hong pao um, wulong tea, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. And this is what we're eating, and I'm glad to be back um, in our home because we eat so well here. Okay, that was a week in our lives here in Ukraine.